This is Jose Trujillo, world's greatest living artist. Check out my shirt that my, my wife bought me. I look muy Picasso. I look like, like el toro. Super Picasso. Super Picasso. Eh, sailor? It looks like a sailor one, huh? Huh? Check it out. I look muy guapo, muy macho. All right, guys. Today is Art Marketing Tuesday. Today's Tuesday, right? If I'm not mistaken. I hope I'm not mistaken because some days I just don't know the days I live. Uh, Art Marketing Tuesday. I got my Starbucks ready. Get your favorite beverage. Come and join me. We're going to talk about marketing. We're going to talk about how to put your marketing together. How to start moving, moving those gears so that you can get your work out into the marketplace. Mm. Into the eyes of people. And so that way people can start flowing, right? Attention, your way. Remember, if you don't know this by now, please know this. Money follows attention. This is something that I learned from Grant Cardone. Money follows attention. Grant Cardone's a, it's pretty much a badass when it comes to this kind of stuff. A lot of people don't like his kick in the pants way. But, you know, I kind of, I see through it. And I get what, 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 uh. I, I get the, the the value out of it, so just uh, just remember if you guys don't know that money follows attention, so uh, make sure that you get attention. Okay, here's another thing. Those of you who are like, man, I'm not trying to monetize whatever, whatever opportunity, call it. Don't call it money. Call it opportunity. Call it call it. Uh, um, I don't know. Art gallery shows follow attention. <laughs> call it. Art licensing gigs follow attention and on and on and on. Put whatever you want in there. If, you, if, if, if you're afraid of getting money, oh my God, money, the M word. <laughs> no money here. Uh, anyways, today I want to talk to you guys about... Uh, how's it going, D? Thank you so much for joining in. Today I want to talk to you guys about the idea that you may be targeting the wrong audience. Many people have this idea. What if I'm targeting the wrong audience, right? What if I'm targeting the wrong audience? Uh, guys, if this is something that is said out, uh, a lot of people talk about this, the, the right audience, the wrong audience, the niche audience. And it really comes from the idea of being uh, smart about it, right? Awesome. It comes from the idea of being smart about things, which there's nothing wrong about that. You want to be smart about things. But many times in trying to be smart about things, we miss out on just doing things and getting things done, right? And this idea of, of for example, I can give you a little example, right? I talk to artists and and one of the one of the things that keeps popping up as, a, as an objection, right, to, to get, to start moving in the direction they want to go to get, to get their artwork seen by others is, what if I'm talking to the wrong people? What if I'm not at the right audience? What, for example, if you want to take your artwork to, to, uh, I don't know, to, to a bed and breakfast or to a restaurant or whatever, most artists would be like, I don't think that's people would really buy artwork there. You know, I think people or, or dental offices or, you know, chiropractic offices or I don't know, book reviews where, where someone's having a book review slash art show or whatever. I don't know, not book review, but a, a reading, right? At a bookstore. And people seem to think, well, there is not, my audience is not there. My, 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 my target audience is not there. And that's a huge mistake. It's a huge mistake that most of us do. Not intentional, of course, but it comes out of, I believe that it comes out of fear. This idea comes out of fear. We are fearful about uh, exposing our work and ourselves. And, 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 it really, it really is fear. We're afraid of that, right? We're afraid of exposing our artwork and ourselves because we think that uh, we have to talk to a specific person. Otherwise, we're going to look like lunatics. We're going to look like like we don't fit there. We don't fit in that place. So you, So most people are like, man, how can I just talk to a specific person who's got the budget, who's looking for art, Who's, their their wallets are burning and they and they like what I do and it's all the specifics. That would be a perfect scenario. Who wouldn't want that, right? Everybody would want that. The problem is to get to those people. You need volumes of people, and this is what most people don't understand. So, in order to get to two, three, 
what people call hot prospects, right? People that are like out and saying, man, I want to buy a painting and I can't wait to buy a painting. And it has to look, you know, cubist and it has to be, have these colors and, and on and on and on. And it's so specific what this customer wants, right? Or this collector or whatever. Uh, and most artists are thinking, yeah, 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 yeah. I want to, I want to tap into that person, right? And, and I mean, yeah, that's, that's uh, a utopian, you know, sentiment, I guess, but, but it, it doesn't really work that way. The way, the way it works 99.9% .9 of the time is that you, you talk to different people, right? And sometimes people may not even be in the market, but as you talk to them, when they are in the market, as you, as you contact them, right? As you persuade them and talk talk to them about what you do, when they are ready to purchase, when they're in the market, they'll come to you. They're like, oh, okay, well, I, I want to see what this cat's doing. Here, let me go to his uh, or her show, right? I'm not in the market, but let me go check out the show. I'm not in the market, but let me go walk in that store. Let me go walk in that in that website, right? Let me go see what, what he or she has in that website. And then once they're looking at it, oh, man, I really like this, but I'm not really in the market. Next thing you know, you send a... Uh, an email, right? A little reminder, maybe you run a, a sale or whatever, and they're not in the market, but they really like that, and they don't mind spending now that, that you, you kind of persuade them a little bit more, and you, you remind them of, of the value that you're offering. So I know I gave like a specific scenario, but I mean, that's really how, how things happen, you know? So targeting the wrong audience, it's the wrong, I believe it's the wrong thing to, to approach things, like having that mindset. Like, oh man, I'm, I'm not talking to the niche audience. I'm not talking to the correct people. It's not really the way to go. How about this? How about instead of asking yourself, am I targeting the wrong audience? Am I targeting, am I talking to an audience? Not even, not even targeting. Am I talking to an audience at all? You know, is there an audience out there? Is there, is, am I, I know there's an audience out there. That's not even the question. Am I even showing up to where there's an audience? Am I even going, forget about niche right now. Forget about targeting. I know those are all buzzwords today and they are important and they're awesome and they're very intelligent, especially when you're doing funnels and you're doing sophisticated marketing, which many times has to do with, with uh, click funnels and, 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 uh, and uh, very specific type of marketing, right? That drives traffic to a specific, um, to a specific website that captures their people's emails and it's you do a value exchange right that is more specific stuff most people don't know how to do that and if they do they don't do it most people most people are not are not uh, very much aware of that that's more a bit more uh, advanced and if you know how to do that power to you that's awesome i'm learning how to do that i I've, I've known how to do it but i never really got my hands on it until recently so so if you know how to do that, that's awesome. Go for that. That's where you use targeted uh, audience, but that's a whole different thing. You want to do that, but at the same time, I'm talking about something else here, okay? I'm talking about as a whole, you how you always want to approach your art and your message is you want to talk to people. It's people. It's not this type of people, that type of people. It's just people. There's a church full of people there. They like you. They know you. The pastor knows you. I don't go to church, but I assume a lot of people do. There's a pastor there that likes you and whatnot, and, 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 and you guys are friends, and they know the family, and they have an event. Boom. Go talk to people. There is a group of people. There is a, a, a brick-and-mortar place, right, a, a, a retail shop that has a clothing store. You know, we, my wife and I used to own a clothing boutique, and they want to do an event because they want to drive people. See, every time you have a business, it's always about people. It will always come down no matter what. To, we call it traffic. The sophisticated word for it is traffic, right? The the lingo for it, but it's people. So they have a they have a sh they have a they want to create traffic. Uh, Sonic, my puppy there, it's like going bananas. Uh, so what do you do? You maybe present to them. Look, uh, I, let's create a a, a small um, art exhibit, right? It doesn't have to be this big thing, just a small little, get a couple of bottles of wine or whatever, whatever you can, you guys are available to do, some food, food platters or whatever, and then you invite your friends. So what you're doing now is that you're joining forces, right? You're inviting, how's it going, Kelly? You're inviting, you're joining forces, you're inviting your friends and family, your supporters, 
people that like your art, maybe people that purchase your art before, and and you're joining forces with the boutique, which is also uh, calling their audience, right? People that bought clothing before. And then now you have, instead of having 30 people there, right? You have 60 or 80 people, or if you have a great night, you have over 100 people, right? And, and, and now out of all of those people, not all of them are buyers. This is where people m many times go wrong and get disappointed. Of course, not all of them are buyers. And not and, and the ones that are buyers may not be most likely not ready to buy that moment. That's why people get disappointed. What you want to do is create the connection. Create the connection. Maybe give them a, a free signed print. You know, maybe a limited edition signed print for the first. This is something that I used to do. First, first 30 people to show up will get uh, a limited edition signed print, you know, for free by me and blah, blah, blah. And then we, we create the connection and then the people are like, oh my God, now I have to frame it. And then you can pitch the frame. You could be like, well, I know this framer and blah, blah, blah. And then if you do your own framing, even more power to you, you get a little cut from there. See, but you're always trying to create the opportunity. So the whole idea again about targeting the wrong audience, it's not a very, it's not a very smart idea. When people are like, oh man, I may be targeting the wrong audience. Or be careful, you wanna target the right audience, you wanna go where the right people are, uh, choose your audience wisely. This is one of the things that I, I always hear people. Uh, target the right audience. Make sure you're talking to the right people. Of course, of course you wanna make sure they're talking to the right people when you're ready to close. But you're not even there yet. Now, close is another one of those words, right? When you close the sale, when you're actually asking, give me some money, give me this money for this painting. Right? You have to close, right? It can't be any more like, oh, I really like those colors. And then you go, yeah, they're amazing, aren't they? Right? And then the person goes, yeah. And then, you know, there's no value exchange. People are gone now, right? They walk away. And, and you know, so at least you want to capture their name. You want to you keep the relationship. If you want to get a little bit more sophisticated, capture their email. Tell them, look. I, I send out a, a newsletter or I do video blogs, right? Where I talk about my artwork. If you'd like to learn more about my artwork, I know we're all, we're all like getting to know each other right now. But if you really like to know more about my artwork in more in depth, here, let me have your email. I'll send something to you. That way you have more information about the process that I do and whatnot. Now you have another chance to contact the person and tell them, this is not sneaky stuff. This is not, this is just connecting with people. A lot of people don't understand this. They're like, oh man, I don't want to do that. Then maybe you're not ready for doing, to do this. Maybe this is not your gig. Anywhere you go, you're going to have to do this. You know, anywhere you go, whether you sell shoes or you sell artwork, you you will be confronted to talking to people. You will be confronted with this, with this challenge. You have to go talk to people. So the idea, again of the audience being uh, the wrong audience, it's not a very smart idea. You, what you need is an audience, period, whatever the audience is, whether they like artwork or they like cars or they like shoes, you need an audience. Start with an audience. Then as you go, these people, you're gonna start filtering, right? People that really like what you do, it doesn't matter if they never bought art before. It, it, that, that, that's see this is the thing it doesn't matter your net worth is your net work this is another thing that I learned your net worth is your net work that's why people that are in in uh, uh, big social groups you always see them doing well I don't know not not all of them but a lot of them right they they're they're in big social groups they they either have I don't know uh, a lot of followers on Instagram or they have uh, they sell a product, whatever that is. One of those, one of those, uh, uh, what do they call them? I forgot what they're called, but uh, people are, people have negative ideas about some of those and whatnot. Uh, I don't know where they go and, and and get people to join in, and 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 then their 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 net their network grows, right? And as their network grows, their net worth also grows. This is something that happens in every business. I mean, unless unless you have it down even if you do if you have it down to like to like google ads and you have a specific niche and you're making i don't know you're making income from that and you're tell, sending people to a specific funnel and whatnot i know I'm, I'm talking some 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 strange words for some people that may not be familiar with this some a lot of you know what i'm talking about unless you're very uh sophisticated that way and even if you are you do not want to discard. I don't think it's a it's it's a smart idea. 
to discard all the other efforts of just reaching people. That's why a lot of the my wife is packaging. That's why you can see, you can hear that paper sound. Um, that's why you see a lot of the local celebrities. I don't know the local celebrities in your town. What I mean by local celebrities, I'm talking about your local, uh, I don't know, chamber and com chamber chamber of commerce uh, celebrities or your local uh, entrepreneur celebrities, the ones that are on the billboards and whatnot, or they're always in the mixers. And people are always talking about them. It's not because the game is rigged, guys. It's because these people understand that they have to reach people. They have to go talk to as many people as possible. You know, which would what would you rather have, right? Talk to five, ten uh, people that are highly interested in artwork, right? Or talk to a million people that may not be interested in artwork that may that you don't know, right? It's just million a million people. Most people would be like, I'd rather talk to five or ten people that are extremely interested in art one, blah, blah, blah. That's great. I think that, that that's very smart. Why not? Why not have both? Why not talk to those ten people and then talk to those million people or a hundred thousand people, whatever that, that, that network is, and talk to them about what you do. Uh, it's, it's, it's a no-brainer, but most people don't understand this because, because we, we, put, um, we put ceilings. We cap ourselves. Right, and and it usually has to do with the fact that we're afraid of talking about ourselves. So, where will I sound less stupid? Is really what we're trying to do. Well, where will I sound less stupid? Like if I'm if I'm an author, you know, I don't want to go talk to a bunch of people that like, I don't know, uh, that are into Western wear. That it's a Western wear convention or a Western, you know, they do saddle bags or saddle, saddle things for horses and whatnot. I just pick something really random. And, and, and you're a novel author, right? You're writing a novel. Why would I want to go talk to those people? Uh, why not? Like just talk to people in general. Why, why wouldn't you want to do that? See this, the, the people that are the most successful get invited to talk to different events all the time. And, and they don't get invited necessarily to talk to events that are about what they do. They get invited to talk to events that just have people. So that the message gets, 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 becomes viral, right? Becomes viral. <laughs> I can say viral because it's, it's, it's face to face. It's face value, right? It's not necessarily that someone's going to watch this and be like, oh, yeah, let's, let's throw it all around it, the internet, right? This video that I'm doing right now. No. But I'm trying to reach as many people as possible. I'm trying to connect. I'm trying to help people and get people to know who I am at the same time. And and see, so it's a value exchange. So again, guys, when you hear this whole thing about the wrong target audience, uh, try to go beyond that. Try to go beyond that idea. And and really, what you're looking for uh, here's a here's a little secret. What you're looking for is the opportunity. You're looking for the opportunity. You're not looking for for the specific person, of course you are. You're always looking for the specific person, but that's not what you want to focus only. Is what I'm trying to say. What you want to do is is look for that for that go go wide, look for the opportunity wide. Maybe maybe there's a you know someone who has a I don't know a car sales event, right? Why would you want to go and and go shake shake people's hands and meet people and why would you want to do that? Most people would be like, "That's stupid." It's better than it's better than what most of us are doing right now. It's much better. You'd probably be more likely to sell a painting to someone who has nothing to do with painting. So maybe it's a cooking show showroom or whatever, and people are like there for to learn about recipes and whatnot. And as you talk to people and pass out cards and tell people about who you are and what you do, and then they tell you what you know what they do and whatnot. And, and you get to meet people and you write their names down, you write their emails, you write their phone number, and you get to create a connection. You're most likely to land a sale that way than to be like, oh, no, I'm going to wait for the right opportunity where there's the right people, where the, where the people that actually want to, to buy artwork are going to be there. That's a very, that's, it's, 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 it really is procrastination. It's procrastination because it's fear, right? So I'm going to procrastinate on that because it's fearful. You know, so we, we put all these things on it, like, oh, that's not my audience. People don't want to hear about that there. Uh, for example, I'm a painter, right? I'm a painter. 
I happen to know about marketing because that's how I sustain myself and my family for the past six years. And, and so I learned marketing uh, early on. I learned marketing about 10 years ago or so. And, and, uh, and so, but that's not what I do. I'm not like a marketer or anything like that. I'm a painter. I create artwork in a studio and I sell artwork. So how do I reach people beyond trying to say, oh, buy my art, buy my art. Let me show you my artwork. That's great. I, I, I do that also. I create little videos where I paint. I talk to people about the process of my painting and whatnot. How do I reach more people? How do I go wide? Well, I'm going to talk about something that I know. I'm not going to make something. Up. I'm going to talk about things that I know, experiences that I've had, and things that I've learned along the way. One of those things is marketing, how to market my artwork, do's and don'ts, right, that I've learned. Things that I've burnt myself and be like, oh, I'm never touching that again. And things that work for me, uh, like, what do they call it? Like, like gangbusters, right? Things that just, I tapped into something that started giving me results, whether it was income or it was uh, talking to people or whatever it was, but it started giving me results, right? The results that, I, that maybe I wanted or I, or, or I didn't want, I didn't understand, and, and, and there were opportunities. The, the, the bottom line is that the more people you reach, the more opportunities you will have. It's not the other way around. Many people still believe, I have no idea why, because it does work. It does work, but you're cutting yourself from all of the opportunities. And many people say, oh, I don't want to thin myself out. We, we have all these notions that, that mommy and daddy used to say, right? Like, be careful. Don't thin yourself out. Don't, don't show yourself too much. Don't talk to people that don't want to hear about that, right? It's stupid. It's like Coca-Cola saying, I only want to talk to people who drink Coca-Cola or drink soda. No, like Coca-Cola is so, so, <laughs> they're so smart. Don't go talk to people who drink water. <laughs> Everybody drinks water, but you know what I mean? Well, go talk to people who, who, I don't know, maybe who, maybe they go and, not maybe, oh my God, what am I saying? They go talk to people in bars who maybe has nothing to do with soda, right? Or, or that, like, but this is how you make, this is how you mix, this is how you mix, uh, liquor and, and, and soda and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, so they go and reach other audiences, right? And I'm not just talking about cross marketing here, I'm just talking about, anyone and everyone talk to anyone and everyone about what you do don't be afraid i know i've extended this a little bit i hope that i got any uh anyone uh, uh i gave you guys any value from here i hope that you guys appreciate the value i uh and if you guys do give me some hearts bah, 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 bah. uh not everyone believes this is true of course uh I believe that one of the reasons many people don't believe this is true is because we've been taught over and over to to go into a niche. You know, there's a saying, there's there's riches in niches and this and that. Of course there is. Of course. Of course you want to go into a niche. That's very smart. But in order to get the followers of that niche or the people that want to purchase the opportunities, go wide. Like go, go into a niche, but go wide in your reach of who you want to talk to. This is what I'm trying to say. So I'll leave you guys with that. I hope that you guys got any value. Thank you so much. My name is Jose Trujillo, world's greatest living artist. Uh, tag some friends. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to be showing this probably later on on, on YouTube. For those, uh, those of you who are going to be watching this uh, later on, on YouTube, please comment. Uh, share the video. Let me know if you guys agree with this. If you guys don't agree, it's fine. It's This is not gospel truth. This is just what's worked for me. OK, I, I can't say this is the only way of doing things. This is what's worked for me. This is what I've learned. I tried the other thing. It didn't work. I didn't just try it. I actually I, I dove in and it didn't work for me. And, and I know for a lot of people that are that are succeeding in different in different uh, places, not just in artwork, it's worked for them. Because you want to go wide. You want to go wide. That's why that's why people that do uh, public speaking. Many, many of those people do so well because they reach so many different audiences. They'll go talk to chiropractors. They'll go talk to doctors. They'll go talk to, to uh, mechanics. They, they go wide. Uh, Kelly says, I think you gave a great advice. You're right. I never know. Uh, you're, you're right. You never know who you will meet. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kelly. I appreciate that. Yeah, that's the thing that, that many of us think that 
that we are not going to meet the right person. But where did you meet your spouse or your boyfriend or girlfriend or, or the best friend? It was random. It's usually random. Uh, people say, oh, no, 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 no. You close business and the golf course. No, closing is a different thing. I'm not talking about closing here, okay? I'm not talking about closing. I'm not talking about, about selling. I'm not talking about selling or closing here. I'm talking about prospecting, okay? This is prospecting. Prospecting means that you go and you, and you, it's marketing, really. You go and you're like, hi, how's it going? My name is so-and-so, right? And then you find out what they do. What, what are they about? And then you add them to your Rolodex, right? These people may, may, may be into watches. These people may not be into artwork, right? They're like, they're like no, man, I really, I'm, I'm into watches. I'm into those Rolex, you know, I'm into the Rolex. And that's what I do. And I don't care about art. As a matter of fact, I hate art, dude. I don't know. How do you do that all day? But maybe they're married to someone. Or their sister or brother is like, man, I love art. I can't, you know, you should be, you should really uh, go check out this dude I met the other day. I hate art, right? But my sister loves art. So boom, there is a connection right there, a real connection. Because you met people. This is, this, this is the thing. Last time you, you were dating someone, you probably met through a friend of a friend of a friend. It was never, it's, it's almost never like, oh, hi, hi connection. How's it going? Unless you started dating and, you know, going out and whatnot. But for the most part, it's like, it's like you go to a group of friends and then in the mix, there's someone else there who happens to be the, the, the future daddy of your children. <laughs> and you didn't know that. <laughs> or mommy. Uh, so I'll leave you guys with that. Please, please do yourself a favor. Don't stop talking about what you do. Don't stop sharing what you do. It's the only way to get your message across. Don't believe when people say, oh, don't show yourself too much. Don't show your artwork. All of these things is, is bad data. It'll keep you small. It'll keep you introverted. It will keep you from other people knowing your greatness. If people don't know your greatness, they will never, ever even like think because they don't know you. How could they, right? They, 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 I know it sounds even ridiculous. Like they don't know you. So how could they ever make a step, you know, forward? So I'll leave you with that. The name is Jose Trujillo. Once again, take care. Adios.